And believe it or not, all single day tickets are now sold out for this year's Outside Lands and they went on sale at 10 o'clock this morning. Outside Lands tweeted this just about 30 minutes ago saying all general admissions and VIP single day tickets are sold out. The three day music festival is scheduled for Halloween weekend, but it will be uh, Rather, the question is, will it be safe for large crowds to attend the music festival? Crown's Charles Clifford spoke with an infectious disease expert to get that answer for us. Charles? Yeah, you know, uh, the Outside Lands Festival was canceled last year, obviously, because of the ongoing pandemic. It is back on for this October. And the question, as you mentioned, is will it be safe for people in attendance? Well, the CDC and everyone agrees that large outdoor crowds uh, carry a risk of COVID-19 exposure and the safety precautions that will be in place for attendees. Uh, that's still a work in progress. According to the CDC, large outdoor gatherings are still considered high risk for exposure to COVID-19. The Outside Lands Music Festival is expected to draw thousands of people over three days, meaning that extra safety precautions may need to be taken. Organizers have said they are still working on specific safety guidelines for the festival. It's unclear at this point if attendees will be required to wear masks, be vaccinated, or be tested before being allowed in. Dr. Peter Chin Hong with UCSF says that because a large gathering like Outside Lands is seemingly at odds with CDC recommendations, organizers will most likely need to take additional precautions. The Bay Area is very safe, uh, but of course with, you know, events like outside lands, without an additional layer of, you know, um, safety, you worried about a lot of visitors bringing risks from other areas. Uh, if things move along in the way they've been moving, by that time, uh, many people hopefully would have been vaccinated. And it's important to note that outside lands is still months away and conditions and health guidelines could evolve over the coming months. All right, back live now. One other thing for all those folks who may have bought tickets this morning on the Outside Lands website, the health and safety page, it notes that any large gathering comes with a risk of COVID-19 exposure. So if you buy a ticket, you assume that risk. But for now, in San Francisco, Charles Clifford, Cron 4 News. Charles, real quick, were you one of the people that was able to nab a ticket this morning? Uh, I was not. I'm not a big fan of large crowds of people, so I probably wouldn't have gone anyway, but I did not try to get a ticket this morning. Sanaz, did you? Uh, I did not. I actually was working, and I, like you, also don't like big crowds, so <laughs> that's that. <Yeah. laughs> Thanks so much, Charles.